Principal, Mr. Roger Ali, Vice Principal of Naprima College, Mr. Rodney Pardesi, our Reverend, Ms. Leitra Jacob, specially invited guests, past principals, members of staff, past students, and our specially invited guest, Mrs. Lilamani Maraj Trehan. A most beautiful welcome to all of you all this morning as we celebrate the retirement and the birthday and the life of our teacher, our friend, and our colleague, Ms. Lilamani Trehan Maraj. This morning, our program is not a long one, but it is a very meaningful one, filled with a lot of laughter, a lot of deep memories that will be shared, and a lot of love that will be passed around. So to bring our function this morning to an open, we will have a word of prayer. And to do this, we will ask Reverend Litra Jacob to bring that greeting of prayer for us. Reverend Jacob. Scripture reminds us, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. The psalmist reminds us in Psalm 34, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. And here today, as we celebrate a retirement function, as we, re as we celebrate the work of a great educator teacher, I want to invite you to join me just in a moment of prayer right where you are, as we close our eyes and bow our head. Gracious and loving Jesus, as we gather today, O oh loving Lord, for this retirement function, for your dear daughter that you called, O oh Lord, in the field of education 37 years ago, Mrs. Trahan. Loving Lord, we celebrate with her today. We celebrate, O oh Lord Jesus, your divine majesty. And we pray, O oh loving Lord, that as we celebrate, that you would bless us. That you, O oh Lord Jesus, would bless us with the gift of your Holy Spirit that you, O oh Lord, will guide and direct our thoughts unto you, O oh Father. Holy and loving God, we praise you today, O oh loving Jesus, for selecting and calling your daughter in the field of education. We thank you, O oh loving Lord, for the 17 years she would have spent here at Naparima College. Spent, O oh Lord, as a teacher, and led, O oh loving Jesus, as head of the department and as a dean. O oh loving Lord, we thank you for the many lives that she would have shaped and touched and molded. We pray, O oh loving Jesus, that you will continue to have your holy hand upon her. We ask, O oh Father, that you will touch her from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. And as she, O oh loving Jesus, retires, we pray, O oh Lord, from this work, we pray, O oh Father, that you would bless her with the fulfillment and completion, O oh loving Jesus, of a time of refreshment and rest. And that you, O oh loving Lord, will continue to open great doors of opportunity, that you will use her, O oh Father, to serve and to guide many men and women in your direction. For we place this fountain, O loving Lord, in no other hand but yours. For this we pray in your holy and precious name. Amen. Litra Jacob, College Chaplain. Mr. Ashford Tambi. 
Chairman of the Presbyterian Secondary Schools Board of Education, Ms. Lila Mani Maharaj Shrehan, Specially Invited Guest, Mr. Riyad Hussein, President of our PTA NAPSA, Mr. Joel Simmons, President of NAPS, NAPRIMA Association of Past Students, Mr. Rodney Pardesi, Acting Vice Principal, members of staff, students, well wishers, and everyone online. I say to you greetings and welcome to this retirement function for Mrs. Maraj Trahan. Today is a day we celebrate well over 25 years of public service by Mrs. Maharaj Trahan. Eight of those years were served at Princess Town Senior Comprehensive, and 17 of those years would have been served at Naprima College. We at Naprima College are most thankful and grateful for that 17 years for which not only the nation's children were taken care of by Mrs. Strahan, but she also taught here at Naprima College chemistry and mathematics. And so we thank her for that dedication to her students. But more importantly, Mrs. Strahan did more than teaching here at NAPS and she promoted the mission and vision of Naprima College. And she did so by providing it in a rich, caring environment, both in and out of the classroom. She also provided a rich spiritual framework for all of her students and even teachers and parents as well. So she was one who took care of her community she was one who was dedicated to her community, not only to the students. And so, Mrs. Maharaj Trehan also provided memories and created memories. So not only was her profession teaching, but her job went beyond that and extended beyond what was asked of her. And how is this? I'm sure you must know of her extended work in the Indian Cultural Club. And this dedication was one which brought out on evenings, in the night, on weekends, and it promoted a level of cooperation, a level of dedication among the students, among the staff, among the parents, which is really what is part of the true essence of what is Naprima College. Or we could say then, promoting the true spirit of what is Naprima College. And for this, I thank Mrs. Strahan. I thank her for creating these memories. I thank her for all that work she went beyond her call of duty. And for this service, which she provided selflessly for all those at Naprima College in her time. I would now like to take this opportunity to thank her family, to thank her husband, Mr. Trahan, to thank her daughter and her son, and her daughter-in-law as well for allowing her to serve Naprima College so selflessly. It is with great appreciation that we recognize you today and we recognize all that hard work you are of putting in order to build our school from strength to strength and I'm sure I am saying thank you today. Thank you for that genuine care, that genuine dedication, and imparting your valuable knowledge to all your students. 
we wish you well we wish you health and strength and may all that you pray and ask for come true in your retirement thank you at this point i'd like to invite mrs maharaj trehan to accept a gift on behalf of naprima college musical interlude so I invite you all to sit back relax and enjoy the musical interlude that was prepared for you all
pleasant good day to our Naprima College family. I greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today, as General Secretary, I've been given the honor of extending appreciation for selfless service to our institution, the Naprima College, to a very special and dedicated educator, Mrs. Lilamani Maharaj Srihan. Ms. Srihan, the board extends its genuine love for all that you have done in maintaining our academic standards, for molding the minds of not only our students, but also of our teachers. We pray that you will continue to do all that you can to fly the flag of Naprima College and the Presbyterian Church by extension in all areas of this country and will. We know that you have been an integral part of ensuring that our students were exposed to the cultural diversity that exists within our country and for that we thank you. We can never express gratitude enough for what you have done. May you enjoy your retirement and may you be safe. I thank you. Good day to the acting principal, Mr. Roger Ali, the acting vice principal, Mr. Rodney Pardesi, teachers, members of staff, specially invited guests, students both past and present, and to the lady of the moment, Mrs. Shrihan. It is my esteemed pleasure to bring greetings on behalf of the Naprima College Association of Past Students Executive and Alumni on your retirement. Firstly, I would like to thank you for all your years of selfless service to Naprima College, and we pray that God will continue to bless and guide you through the years ahead. During your time on the Hill, you would have served in the capacity of teacher, acting head of department, acting dean of discipline, mother and mentor. You have educated, molded and encouraged students in the fields of chemistry and mathematics and have been a major contributor to the success of the college. I can remember when I started NAPRIMA in 2005. You walked into the classroom, introduced yourself as our mathematics teacher and encouraged us as young men starting this new chapter in our lives to put our best foot forward and to work hard, ensuring success would follow. Your contributions, though, were not only limited to the classroom. You selflessly worked with the Indian Cultural Club, ensuring that their productions and functions were carried out in excellence and without a hitch. These hallow halls of Naprima College will definitely miss your presence. Though you are now retired, your teachings will forever be engraved in our lives. May this new chapter in your life bring you joy, happiness, and the well-deserved relaxation that comes with retirement. Thank you again for all that you have done, Miss, and all the best in the future. Mr. Acting Principal, Mr. Acting Vice Principal, members of staff, parents, and students of Nabrima College. As president of NAPSAC, I, Riyad Hussein, with great commendation on this momentous occasion, state that it has been an honor and pleasure to have known Mrs. Strahan. She was elegant and exemplar and teacher of integrity. It is a fitting tribute to quote Aristotle. When referring to Mrs. Strahan, it is by education to do, by choice, what other men do by constraint of fear. Mrs. Strahan has been a very distinguished educator and her devotion to duty spanned 37 years employed by the Ministry of Education. She has given the last 17 years of service to Naprima College. She was a teacher, head of department, and also a dean. In the field of culture, she was involved in organizing the Diwali program for a number of years at this prestigious institution. Such a charismatic teacher deserves all the love and respect from everyone with whom she had interaction. Therefore, Mrs. Srihan, 
I would like to extend my sincerest congratulations to you on your retirement today. I wish you a long, happy, healthy, and prosperous life as you move on to past years new. And as I bid you farewell with the blessings of Almighty God, I am certain that your treasured legacy will never be forgotten. Thank you. May God bless you.
they would never like to say goodbye to you. They would never say goodbye. Kabhi alvida na kahani. But rather to you, they say, may you have a life filled with happiness that would have completed your work in this part of Napuna College. Thank you. We now have the honor to have in our midst a past principal of this institution of Naprima College. Ms. Maureen Atwal, these walls would be no stranger to her because it is through her development in which laid the foundation for much of the work in which what turned into Naprima College as it is today. Good morning, everyone. Um, all protocols observed. Uh, um, I, let me first say thanks to the organizing committee for allowing me the, this opportunity to share in this retirement function for Lila. I must say, too, that every time I come to these premises, I experience a very deep sensation of nostalgia. So I'm sure you too, Leela, will have your own separation issues leaving this place. I remember clearly the first day that I was introduced to Mrs. Trahan as an applicant for the post of chemistry to teach chemistry at the advanced level. And during that first interview with her, I couldn't help but notice that she had such a pleasant personality she had a, a very pleasing kind of humility, and that smile was infectious. Um, so that you could imagine my puzzlement about two to three weeks after she had joined the staff, actually, I got a complaint, and that was, this teacher is too strict. Now, for the records, we have nothing against teachers being strict. It is just that our A-level teachers at the advanced, our A-level teachers in sixth form had a more informal kind of relationship with their students, especially in chemistry, perhaps not in the other subjects, but they had an informal 
easygoing, familiar kind of relationship. So the boys kind of protested. But we have no objections to teachers being strict. So it was not a complaint, but it was to me a kind of paradox. This is a nice, pleasant, humble teacher that I had met, and now I'm hearing a different side to her personality, which is good. She came from a different environment where certain things were needed when you had to approach a classroom. So she adjusted very nicely to our school climate, our environment, and it was easy going from then on. There were no more complaints. Um, she came to us well recommended. A, a teacher from our own staff had recommended her. She was very highly recommended. She was well qualified for the job. She had the experience with teaching A-levels. And most of all, she was cognizant of the changes that we had to make at that time. That was around 2004, when we were just switching over from Cambridge GC A-levels to do the CAPE program of studies and examinations. So it was very essential to have someone who was experienced, who had done all the training courses, and who was all geared up to, to train our boys, to prepare our boys for the examinations. And the examinations were, the results were very excellent, as you would have expected. She and Mr. Jamman, they call him Mr. Jamman, but his name is Jamman. Mr. Jamman and Leela had a very collaborative relationship. They worked together well, they knew each other well, and they, they hashed out their problems, and they, 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 they carried on um, in a very productive manner. So it was a big asset having her here with us. It was a wise decision to bring Mrs. Strahan into our fold here at Naprima College. And um, I'm thankful that she came. She was also, as Mr. Pardesi said, she was also very active even from that first, first year that she was here. She was very active in extracurricular events, especially with the Indian Cultural Club and she mixed and mingled very easily with staff. Now, I did not have a long stay here afterwards because I was approaching my own retirement in those days. So my experiences and my interaction with her, they were kind of limited. So um, based on that experience, I, I want to say thank you, Leela, for all that you have done for Naprima College all that I've heard about you, and congratulations on your retirement. I wish you a very peaceful and happy retirement, and time enough to do all the things that you would like to do in your spare time. And to you and your family, all the best, and many long years of happiness. Thank you. Today, I'm very happy to bring greetings on behalf of my friend, Mrs. Lila Mani Trehan. Lila has been my friend, a classmate, and a colleague for over 41 years. I remember we started our university degrees in the Faculty of Natural Sciences just a about 1980. And so she has always been that humble, committed, dedicated person. When I came as principal of Naprima College in 2006, I remember Lila speaking to me about her dreams of refurbishing the chemistry lab of having some of the most exciting Diwali programs, but she really exemplified the mission of Naprima College through a desire to assist those students who are underprivileged. She was a very socially responsible teacher. She reached out especially to those students who came from really poor backgrounds. 
I want to say today, congratulations, Leela. You have done a wonderful job here at Naprima College. You have used all your experience and your training to produce many scholars. Your students admire you for your compassion, for your caring, and for your understanding that as young men, they go through so many difficulties and you always reached out and you always gave them a second chance. And so I admire that quality in you as you mentored younger members of staff, as you mentored all those students. On many occasions, you served as head of department, as a dean, as a counselor. And I want to say that you have had a fulfilling career. And I wish you the best on your retirement. I recognize too that we may not have used all your talent here at Naprima College. In 1990 to 92, you would have gone to India on a government scholarship to learn to teach Hindi in schools. And you did that at your previous school at Princess Town Senior Comprehensive. And I, I, I wish we were able to use your talent to teach Hindi here at Naprima College. But I want to say, as you go on to retirement, I'm sure that you will use those talents, your ability to teach, your compassion and your dedication to go on to mentor many more students, many more young people. And so today, it was my privilege to know you. And I want to say best wishes to you as you retire from the teaching service. May God continue to bless you and your children and your husband and your family so that your retirement will be one where you will be able to enjoy all the fruits of your labor. Thank you very much.
here with me, accompanying me with the music. And from both our families to yours, and from the family of Naparima College, we'd like to say thank you, Miss, for everything that you've done. For all of us. So it's been a fantastic journey. We'd like to wish your family and yourself all the blessings moving forward. We will always treasure and love you. Thank you. Good morning to everyone. Welcome back to Naprima College. Many of you, it's good to see so many um, faces here, our past principal and past teachers, family of um, Ms. Trehan. Welcome. Uh, today it gives me great pleasure, it's an honor, to bring greetings on behalf of the staff to Ms. Trehan. I'm sure that I speak for everyone when I say you have left an indelible mark on this great institution that we are all proud to be part of. You have inspired your students over the years to be as passionate as you are about chemistry. If you're looking for Leela, check the chemistry lab first. If she's not preparing a lab, she's there conducting it with students. Indeed, you have touched many lives and I'm sure that your students, both present and former, looking on now, can attest to this. When you just joined the staff, you teamed up with the formidable team of Jams and Kamal to further strengthen the chemistry department. The dedication and hard work that you put into your career was quite evident every year when the CXC results came out. I'm certain that you have passed on your legacy to the younger members of the chemistry department and that the results will continue to be excellent. Your dedication transcends the classroom into the Indian Cultural Club. I've seen the Diwali program evolve from a double period on a, on a Tuesday or Friday 
into a full-on concert on a weekend. And you are an inspiration to the teachers and the students of the ICC. Speaking for myself, I have very fond memories in the Dean's office with yourself, Mrs. Bechan, and Mr. Ali, and I will miss our conversations. The Dean's line that we used to have was epic and calendar worthy. I hope that you left instructions with the present deans on how to proceed. If not, we can always come back, bring the old crew, and teach them what to do. Let's not forget your culinary skills. Leela taught me to make biryani rice. I tried it a few times, but it didn't come out as, as good as hers. So you know what that means. Until you open that Indian restaurant, when you make biryani and paneer, you have to make sure and call me. Not many people associated with NAPS have that true NAPS spirit. We are lucky amongst our staff that you have that spirit. And I'm sure that it started off with your brothers who attended the college and then later on your son. And I'm therefore not surprised that you treat your students like your own sons. You have embraced the Naparima fraternity and brought with you dedication, loyalty, and hard work. We will miss you, but you have earned yourself a happy retirement. So go forth and enjoy. God bless you and your family. Thank you. brings us to some reflections from some past colleagues. And firstly, we would like to call Mr. Kamal Maraj to bring some reflections on behalf of the staff from the era in which he taught with Ms. Trahan in the science department and he was the acting head of science at that time. So it takes me pleasure to invite Mr. Kamal Maraj to give his reflections. Um, all protocol observed for the distinguished member of the head table. But I just want to mention people at the head table in, uh, that are mostly Ms. Trahan family. I have three brothers there, Dr. Parmanan Maraj, who is a senior lecturer in radiology at UE. There are other two brothers, Shivanan and Ramjit. We have with us her firstborn son, Siddhant, and his wife, Nikki, and daughter, Shivani. So I must extend special greetings to our guest of honor, Ms. Trehan, Ms. Lilamani Mara Trehan, who has served 37 years of dedicated service as a teacher. This being a retirement, 20 years of which was done at the Princeton Senior Comprehensive School from 1984, followed by 17 years here at Naparima College from 20, 2004. It is all, I also now know Ms. Trian for 17 years. When she came to replace Ms. Sundi Ramtahal as a chemistry teacher. And for the years I taught with her, together with the esteemed Mr. Jamant Maharaj, there were three Maharaj chemistry teachers in the science department on the hill. Many of you may not know Ms. Trehan, or Lila as we fondly call her among our peers, speaks Hindi fluently. This came about because of her, during her tenure at Princeton Senior Comprehensive, she was awarded a scholarship from the Indian government to go to Delhi, India to study Hindi for two years. While there, she met the heartthrob Indian star boy like Sanjay Trehan. They got married there, and I'm sure it was not arranged marriage. But because of a commitment to Trinidad, Sanjay had to make that difficult decision to leave his beloved country and relocate in Trinidad with his newlywed. Shortly after in Trinidad, their firstborn came, his son, the dashingly handsome and intelligent Sidant. 
She then graduated from Naparima College in 2011 after successfully writing the Cape Unit 2 examination. He then went on to study medicine at St. George's University in Grenada, and upon receiving an M MBBS degree, went to New York to do his internship and specialization in internal medicine. There he met and married the love of his life, Nikki Malhi. Nikki is of Indian heritage, was born in the US, and an accountant by profession. We are, grace, we are very pleased to be graced by Nikki's presence in this auspicious program. I know this is a second visit here, and we look forward to many visits back home, possibly bringing many of Sidan Juniors with her for grandma to play. Sidan and Nikki reside and work in Pennsylvania, USA. Sanjay and Lila had their second and last child, a daughter. You know, charming, elegant, and obedient Shivani. Shivani is also studying her MS for her MBBS degree. So apart from teaching chemistry on the hill, Ms. Trian also taught maths at the lower level. She was originally, occasionally given um, duties as dean of discipline from 2011. As we already mentioned, she was, in, she was instrumental in the Indian Cultural Club and probably largely responsible for the many awards that members gained at the annual Sanskrit Sangam competition among secondary schools. She was also, as was mentioned, chiefly responsible for holding the annual Diwali program on the hill. And in 2013, because of the kind, kindness of our administration, led by the then Dr. Michael Dowlett, was able to trans transfer the program to evenings, which was a huge success because parents and well-wishers could have attended. Ms. Strahan, together with a few others, was also responsible for carrying on the, the, the Indian Delicacy Club at the annual school bazaar, which is always a success because everything was sold out. So I realize and can admit that Ms. Strahan, to me, is that the ideal teacher. Because apart from giving her best in the classroom, she was always willing to help students with any problem they had, be it in the corridor, in the laboratory, in the library, during recess or lunch. And she was always willing to assist the students in the SBA to get maximum marks by constant upgrading the report. So Ms. Trahan really did her best. And I would say that we all can agree that she had a lustrous and successful career. Another point that we probably never realize is Ms. Trahan and her brother Ram Maharaj always give assistance to underprivileged students in a very unassuming manner. So we could say, I want to wish, I, I think that Ms. Trahan deserves to enjoy retirement in the best way. And in closing, I want to ask the good Lord to extend good wishes to Ms. Trahan and her family for a life long filled with happiness, good health, and peace. And on behalf of the members of my former science department, thank you, Ms. Trahan. May God bless you and your family, and all the best. Good luck, and sit around. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and special good day to the celebrant Lilamani Trihan Maharaj. I want to begin by welcoming Lila, who I consider to be one of my sisters, okay, to this new status of being a retiree. Lila came to us from Princeton Senior Comprehensive and she came to replace another stalwart teacher of the chemistry department, Mrs. Sundardeya Ramtahal Maharaj. Being related to Lila, okay, we were always in contact and I would have informed her about um, the retirement of Ms. Ramtahal and she took the opportunity to apply and was successful in making a move from Princess Song Senior Comprehensive towards our noble institution at Prima College. Throughout my career, 
teaching chemistry at Naprima College, we always operated as a team. Okay, we had Mr. Amtahal, Mr. Kamal Maraj, okay, Mr. Ragbir, right? And we all worked together to ensure that the results at the school, okay, was e exceptional in this particular area. Leela immediately fitted into that role and that vacuum created by Ms. Ramtahal Maharaj. And um, she began assisting immediately in the teaching of A-level chemistry, such that our results continue to be probably top in the country. Leela has the, that capacity to work very, very hard. In fact, if you just look at her countenance, you will see that oh, she is one who okay, works extremely hard and go beyond to assist students, especially in that area of uh, chemistry, the school-based assessment. She always went out of her way to ensure that students got very, very good marks in that component of the course, both at O-level and at A-level. This is why she was regularly found in the chemistry lab. Okay, most times when a student come looking for Leela at the staff room, even without knowing, the teachers will indicate the chances that Miss Leela is in the chemistry lab. She spent a lot of time there, right? And, and, and it is because of her devotion towards helping out students to improve in their school-based assessment. Apart from teaching chemistry, okay, Leela also assisted as a dean. And once more, a lot of her spare time, okay, I'm talking about recess time and lunch and periods where she could have taken a rest. Most of that time was spent dealing with students and whatever uh, problems we may have uh, at the school. Okay, she devoted a lot of time in that particular area. So once again, her free time was used up in, uh, in the assisting the other deans in carrying out their roles and functions. Just as uh, Ms. Ramtala Maharaj had um, assisted me in the administration and the functioning of the Indian Clerical Club, Leela also fitted that role. And when she came to our school, I was very, very happy because I had known her background in music and Hindi. And she was able to take the club, the ICC, to probably a level that higher than I could have. She made an outstanding contribution okay, towards that area. And I will hope as she is now retiring that someone, some other teacher at the school will continue okay the work done by the Indian Cultural Club such that that club will continue um, excelling. As Lila retires it also brings to an end. Now I had actually made this statement when I retired okay in the year 2016 right but my research had shown that since the 1950s there was always a teacher whose surname was Maharaj at the helm of chemistry. Okay, from Suknanan Maharaj, Sukmir Maharaj, Kamal Maharaj, Sunda, Sundari Ramtahal Maharaj, Leela Maharaj, and of course myself. Right? As she leaves, there's no one, as far as I know, with that surname. I don't know if maybe someone with the surname Maharaj might fill her vacancy. Okay. So it brings to an end that particular era where no more Maharaj will be teaching chemistry at Naprima College. Probably principal and vice principal probably can note that when they are interviewing and making their choice. Okay, for the new teacher. Okay, that those persons, somehow those persons whose surname is Maharaj always excelled at teaching chemistry at Naprima College. And I'm not saying that because my surname is Maharaj, but the history of the school will actually show that. Okay. I have no doubt that Leela will enjoy her retirement 
okay, for the simple reason, and I always say this, that how when someone works hard, their reward will be retirement. And you will enjoy that little rest that you had from so many years of teaching, okay, at different institutions. Maybe you can find the time now to do that catering that you so often spoke about. Because in my opinion, and also many teachers at Naprima College, okay, the Indian, the authentic Indian food, food that you cook is the best in the entire country. I've never tasted any authentic Indian food as good as you can make it. So probably you have that time now where you and your, your husband probably can think about going into that kind of business. Right? I am allowed only three minutes. I think I overstepped my time. But um, I always prefer to talk live rather than doing this electronic business. Right? So, let's bear with me for one minute again. Right? So, Lila, as you retire, I want to wish you and Sanjay, your son and your daughter, all God's blessings. Right? And I'm sure now as you have the extra time, we'll be able, we will be able to meet more regularly. Okay, so again, welcome to that new status of retirement. Okay, and good luck. God blessings. Pleasant good morning to our celebrant, Mrs. Lidamani Maharaj Trehan, our acting principal, Mr. Roger Ali, our acting vice principal, Mr. Ronnie Paradisi, our college chaplain, Reverend Jacob, representative of the Presbyterian Secondary School Board, Mr. Ashwood Tambi, president of NAPSAC, Mr. Riyad Hussein, president of NAPS, Mr. Simmons, former principal, Mrs. Atwal, and Dr. Daulat, specially invited guests, colleagues, and our online audience. Good day, everyone. It is my pleasure this morning to introduce our celebrant, Mrs. Lilamani Maharaj Trehan. Sam Gregory quotes, there are many facets of love. The key is learning to experience and enjoy the brilliance of each one. Today, we examine some facets of Mrs. Trahan, our Naparima College diamond. We learn about her as a student, a young professional, an Indian culture enthusiast, a cultural ambassador, educator, and loving family person. Mrs. Trahan began her love of learning and home, at home amongst her parents, Chanilal and Baby, and her nine siblings, some of whom are present today. Her formal schooling began at Harmony Hall Presbyterian Primary School, followed by her stint at San Fernando Government Secondary where she completed both her A-level and O-level exams. Subsequently, she entered the University of the West Indies, where she read for both the Bachelor of Science degrees in Chemistry and Mathematics and her postgraduate diploma in Education in the year 1989. Mrs. Trahan's love and passion for learning transferred to her chosen career as an educator at Princess Town Senior Comprehensive. Although Mrs. Trahan had a love for academia, she also nurtured her love of Indian culture through her formative years. It is this love of Indian culture which resulted in her receiving a Hindi scholarship in 1990 by the government of India. Indeed, her love of Indian culture inadvertently led her to her true love, Mr. Sanjay Trehan. A love 
which heralds another facet of Leela's life, one of wife and motherhood. Yet another facet is her role as an educator. Mrs. Trahan served for 20 years with distinction at Princess Town Senior Comprehensive before joining us at Naprima College. While at NAPS, she served tirelessly as a dean, head of department, as a senior teacher in the chemistry department, she aided in the re renovation of both chemistry labs. Thank you, Miss. We are forever grateful in the science department. It should be noted that her love of children and her belief in education as a tool which can uplift someone irrespective of circumstance had her gravitate towards her role as Dean of Studies. Ladies and gentlemen, before I introduce our celebrant for this afternoon, it is my pleasure to humbly present Mrs. Trahan and a, a gift from the science department. Mrs. Trahan.
best wishes to you, Ms. Trehan. On behalf of the Princess Dong Senior Com graduating class of 2001, on your well-deserved retirement. For some of us, you were a form teacher for forms four and six. Four years. That was four years of serious growth. But we all know now it was all in our best interest. No doubt about that. I am sure that all your students share the same sentiment when I say you have surpassed your role as a teacher. You have been our mother, always guiding and pushing us to reach our full potential, never accepting less of what we were capable of, a no-nonsense person. And because of this, we were successful and would forever be grateful for your presence in our lives. Personally, for me, you have always been my guiding light. You encouraged me to apply at NAPS, and when I was accepted, you made sure I had a smooth transition into the NAPS family. Even though we say goodbye to this chapter, just like we did 20 years ago, I know you will always be there for us because Kopeil and Bonds were created. So it's time to relax, see about you. You have done your students proud. Enjoy your retirement to the fullest. We love you and God bless. Good day everyone, my name is Kirill Mohammed. I'm currently the physical education teacher here at Napriyama College. And in 1999, I met a phenomenal individual. Miss Leela Trehan was my form teacher. And the form teacher of 60 odd students. We had a fantastic time with her because she was always loving, caring, enthusiastic about her job. She's always approachable. Ms. Leela Trehan did so many things for us in terms of helping us through our daily lives. She assisted us in ways that we can't always describe it. And now, 20 years after, I've had the opportunity only for a short time to teach with one of my mentors and a mentor and mother to many passed through her hands and especially that 1999-2001 class of Princess Down Senior Comprehensive. Both Ms. Mohani, Nongu and I were students of Ms. Strahan in that form class and I know she'll have a few words to say as well. But with that being said, all the best to you Ms. Strahan. May God continue to bless you and your family always. Take care, and one day, I'll get there. We all will get there. We can enjoy retirement and look back at a phenomenal teaching career, just like yours. Take care of yourselves, miss, and all the best. Pleasant good day to all teachers, staff, students, and of course, Miss Trehan. Thank you very much to the organizers of this event for giving me the opportunity to say a few words as we reflect on the remarkable career of Ms. Trehan and wish her the very best as she enters this new phase of her life. Now I have to admit, as time passes, many of us may have forgotten the intricacies of Le Chatelier's principle and the complexities of organic chemistry, but what we have not forgotten was the impact that you had on us. Your dedication and commitment to the craft of teaching not only motivated us to become better students, but it also encouraged us to use a more holistic approach in challenging ourselves to achieve our goals. To the students listening, both past and present, one of the best gifts that we can give to Ms. Trehan is to embody the lessons she has instilled in us over the years and implement them in our everyday lives to make the world we live in a much better place. A heartfelt thank you 
may not adequately capture the feelings of gratitude we have towards you, Miss. You have helped us in more ways than you can imagine, and it was both an honor and a privilege to be your students. Thank you very much for everything you have done for us, and we wish you the very best in your retirement. It was thoroughly deserved. Take care, and I wish you the best. Miss, we just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for everything you did for us at now. Whether it was with chemistry or as being the main teacher in the Indian Cultural Club, your influence on us will truly never be forgotten. We just want to say happy retirement, Miss, and we wish you the best of years to come. Hi, Miss, so I'm really grateful that I've been given the opportunity to say something on this year retirement. You've interacted with me in many situations on the lower stages of my high school career as a dean, as a mentor, and then moving higher on as a chemistry teacher and as the ICC coordinator. You've really taught me a lot. Um, you've really you know, instilled in me a lot of values and really you know, fostered my love for the subject of chemistry as I'm sure you've done for many other students. Um, I've been told to keep this brief, so I will, but I know there's so much more good things I can say about you. But I wish you the very best in this new stage of your life, um, and God's blessings to you and your family. Hi, Mr. Strayan, here and here, and I just wanted to say congratulations on your retirement. I think it's only fitting that today we are able to celebrate someone who helped us move from one phase of our life to the next. Of course, moving from being young boys into becoming your fine gentleman. Thank you for employing an unashamedly maternal instinct and ultimately helping us to hold integrity and to always, always speak out for what we believe in. With much love and adoration always, congratulations and have a great retirement. Hi Miss, no introduction needed for me. Um, I wish you all the best in this chapter of your life of retirement. Um, you've had a wonderful career from what I've heard and from what I've also been part of for a few years and I would like you know, to continue having that kind-heartedness and that compassion for everything that you do. You have touched many of us in many ways, in a way that a mother only can and I wish you know to keep in contact as we always do. So all the best in your retirement. Hi miss, I'm already smiling because I want to ask how are you doing but I know you're doing great because you're retiring soon. Congratulations on that, not only on behalf of myself but all of the students whose lives you would have touched. And I say touched because not only were you an excellent teacher academically, you were the one who were able to see things that other teachers couldn't in terms of our personal lives and in helping every young immature person at Naprima College become a respectable gentleman they are today. I know you helped a lot in my own life and you touched many more students and congratulations on retiring. Ms. Trehan, as a chemistry teacher, your classes were thorough and complete, ensuring our success. But your caring and compassionate nature is what I remember most. From helping us to prepare standard solutions so our labs actually worked, to bailing us out of trouble with Mr. Roger Al when he ripped up our cards and we had to put them back together. You are and always will be someone we can count on. Thank you and enjoy your well-deserved retirement. Wow, so much to say and so little bit of time. Um, Ms. Trayan has to be one of the most caring and compassionate teachers I've ever come across. So humble, so selfless and so down to earth. Um, I'll never forget the time she came back from India and she brought, I believe it was Barafi, um, it was the best tasting Indian sweet I ever ate in my life and I will never forget that moment. It had um, silver or gold in it and um, it was moments like these, even outside of being a student of Naprima College, that is the reason why Ms. Trehan um, means so much to me. She it was not only there on my journey through secondary school, she was also there in my journey through medical school and um, I'm so grateful, so very grateful to have met Ms. Trehan. I have absolutely no regrets. 
So I just want to say congrats on all the years of service to Napoma College and all the best in your retirement and um, just to let you know that you did made a really positive and lifelong impact in many students other than myself and um, free checkups for the rest of your life for you and your family um, but yes cause choice is blessing to you and your home and um, I do hope you enjoy your day and every day that comes after it all right so have a great one miss i would just like to thank you for being one of the most dedicated teachers i know who wants to see their students succeed you are someone who keeps on encouraging her students to keep on trying even if they may fail at first i still remember the chromatography lab from two years ago but well, even though we kept messing it up and having to start over again and again, you kept on encouraging us and helping us to improve. I would like to wish you nothing but the best in all your future endeavors. I'm Bradley Gunnis from Form 6AS3, and I'd like to thank Ms. Trehan for all her hard work over the past year. And even though times are challenging in this virtual model of school, she has definitely put her best foot forward. I can say that Ms. Trehan is one of the most dedicated teachers I have ever came across in Naprima College. And I just want to say again, thank you for all your hard work and I wish you well on all your future. Ms. Trehan truly is the embodiment of what a good teacher is. She has impacted the lives of generations past and present, contributing to the successes of her students, both academically and morally. Personally, I have experienced nurture under Ms. Trehan through my time at Nambruma College, which has resulted in me being the upstanding student you see before you. I just want to take this opportunity to wish Ms. Trehan a very happy retirement and a sincere thank you on behalf of your current class at Nambruma College. Krishna Chandra is a vase karne Are dwar palo Kanhe yaas kahe do Kedhar pe sudhama Gari vagya hai Kedhar pe sudhama गरीब आ गया है अरे द्वार पालो कन्हे यास कह दो कि तर पे सुधामा गरीब आ गया है अरे द्वार पालो कन्हे यास कह दो Sajarte hai kahe do 
इकबाल मोहन सजरते हैं कह लो कि घर पे सुधामा गरीब आ गया है घर पे सुधामा गरीब आ गया है ले बार पालो observed wow time flies it has been an extremely exhilarating eventful journey from 1984 to 2021 I'm listening to all the speakers here I'm not sure if it's me they're speaking about I'm really really you know my my heart overwhelms with the kind words you have said about me 
As I said, I'm wondering if it is me. I do sincerely appreciate all the sentiments expressed. You're going to make me all teary-eyed when I look at this. And as Mr. Jarman said, you know, you sit back and reflect, and you feel you've done enough. And especially the last two years, with, from March 2020 with the COVID, it has been a life-changing experience for me. I started as a very eager, nervous, anxious teacher in 1984 at Princess Young Senior Comprehensive. And now I'm leaving the hallowed halls of Naprima College, truly humbled by all my experiences as a teacher. First and foremost, I am a teacher. And that teaching tradition has been part of our Hindu tradition the guru is respected and revered, and it is one who leads us from darkness to light and enlightenment. And this has been instilled in myself and all my siblings by our parents, Baby and Chanka Maharaj. They have always emphasized They have always emphasized education. We were from very humble beginnings, but it was instilled in all of us that this is the way forward. I'm truly proud of the legacy my parents left. All my siblings are well educated, and they, you know, they, they have shown that way out of a particular situation. And this is what I try to do. as a teacher, that I know this is a way out, that enlightenment where you can move from one point to the next. And I'm glad that some of you think I did that. I, as I said, my speech is from my head at this point. I've gotten quite emotional about it, all right? I'm really, really happy to see all the sentiments expressed by all of you. And coming here, I have to, as I said, thank all who have been instrumental in this. As I said, my parents, my siblings, my elder brother, Krishna, Sandra, Anjani, Ramjit, Joey, Parmanan, Shivanan, Ram, Lalita. They were all, we all shaped our lives based on our parents' teachings. And I can never be express my gratitude towards them. And that led me to to be the type of person I am, appreciate the values that have given in everyone and transmit that to all around me. My first job at Princess Anne Senior Comprehensive, I'd just like to express gratitude to a few people, Mr. Joe Sergio. He told me that, you know, as a teacher, you don't get any pay rise. You don't get any, you know, big sort of reward. All you can do is help each other's children as teachers, fellow teachers. And I said, well, why help only other teachers' children? I treat all children as my own, try to inspire them. I particularly remember the class of 2001, of which two, or rather three members, are part of the Napirima family, Mr. Ashra Tammi, Mrs. Mohani, and Mr. Kadir. They were part of that class, which I tried to nurture until that instill in them that you're no different from the prestige school students, you can achieve. And they've made me extremely, extremely proud of their achievement. There's so many of them I have to mention. All right, and they surprised me nicely, you know, they came and they met me. And it's glad when you, you walk in the corridors of the grocery or you're just in the airport somewhere and students come up to you and say, Miss, you made an impact in their lives. And this is what I try to achieve. So I thank Mr. Sergio for at least instilling in me that you treat the children on your own. At that school, Ms. Dan Matt Ramsaran, Ms. Roma Singh, Ms. Joyce and Mario have been my go-to people whenever I have a problem. When I joined NAPS, and yes, when I did start a teacher, I must mention Mr. Jamant Maraj. I mean, he has been my go-to person at this school. We always exchange ideas at that time with GC, Mr. Jamant. We had to get instructions to labs, and we would sit and figure out, okay, what type of lab it could be that was in, you know, what we did. He would exchange past papers with me and I with him, and he was my mentor. 
And when he did mention that there's a vacancy coming up, I didn't really think I stand a chance, I stood a chance. I'm very grateful to you, Mrs. Atwell, for giving me the chance and the Presbyterian Board to serve in this prestigious institution. As was mentioned, I know of this school from long ago. My, elder, my brother, Parmanan, who's now a doctor, when I passed to Savannah under government secondary, he would actually walk me from the base of La Peak Hill. There were five or six of us going to school at the same time. My father would drop us at the base of the hill. He would walk me down to Todd Street, and I will go down that road to my school, and then he will go to his school. And it shows the humble beginnings we had. We were not dropped to school. We did not have the facility to travel to school. All right? I remember that fondly, Andy. All right? And as time passed by, you know, so I'm, I'm hearing about Napa College from so long. My parents is always talk about the esteem that Mr. Dr. McKenzie, he made an influence on so many students' lives. All right? And, you know, when I, and then my youngest brother, Ram Kishore, he joined here. He had a, a really fantastic time here. Different from Parmanan's experience, his one was one of enjoyment, and he really kept the college at heart. And when I joined the school, I could see the joy in my brother's eyes that have joined their school. And because of them, you know, again, because of our humble beginnings, we appreciated what education can do to you and how it uplifts you. And we always looked out for those students in need. I see that with Mrs. Nadira, she's also doing that. And we know a little kind word to a student goes a long way, an encouragement. To let them know that they, we are not only interested in the brilliant ones, we're interested in those who just need to know that even if you get a four and a five and eight levels, I would tell them, you can still go to university. Don't give up hope. Have that faith in yourself. And you can move forward. And that is all I ask of the students. And as I said, I am emotional. I didn't think I was, I would be, but I'm thinking back of all the long ago times. My brothers Ramjit and Shivanan, they always supported me tremendously. All right, Ram, my sister Sandra, um, Anjani and Lalita. So my family is there. And then I, I got married and my in-laws in India, Nirmala Trehan, Arjun Trehan, I have to mention their name. They've been very supportive. They're quite proud of me to know that I was a teacher. All right? My husband has been extremely supportive in all the school activities. In fact, I learned Indian cooking from him. And Mrs. Atwal, you can attest to that, and Mr. Jamond. I introduced Indian delicacies on a different slide, slant by having my daughter come here. And we made paneer pakoras chai. I'm famous for the chai. <laughs> All right, so these are some of the things which made my teaching experience memorable. And it's not all about the chemistry. The chemistry is there. I left it for the bigger, you know, the, the greater teachers like Mr. Jamon to carry that legacy. I try to fill his shoes, but I fill it in my own way. And uh, as I said, I do thank everyone who has been a part of this experience. My stint as a dean was, uh, you know, I think I was a quite lenient. Mr. Paradise, you'll probably attest to that. I would try to you know, shield the students from the more rigorous sort of punishment and try to help them change their ways rather than be punitive. And that was my role. And you know, later on, I, I learned that students used to call me Mother Trahan. Right? <laughs> and I'm, I'm understanding now why, based on what Mr. Jamman said, Mr. Kamal said, I didn't realize it came out in my personality to that extent. So at this point, I also like to uh, um, thank Dr. Dowlett. You know, he, he has been a colleague of mine since the university days when he came here. I was quite, you know, impressed by his ideas of improving the college. And one of the, you know, very good thing he did is that supported me when I pushed for the first refurbishment of the chemistry lab. The lab would have been in that existence for how long? But again, Naprima College is a school, unlike Mr. Sound Senior, you have well-wishers, and well-wishers with deep pockets. And they were able to fund the refurbishment and renovation of the two chemistry labs. And I think you know, it's in good hands with Ms. Hema to take over and to continue the improvement of the labs. Chemistry, I love chemistry. The class with Ms. Mohani, and there, I had them from Form 4, Form 5, Law 6, Upper 6, in their fourth form four and form five, 
I taught chemistry through labs, and they used to groan when I called them in lunchtime to do labs. I did over 56 labs just to make the chemistry real for them. And I think I'm very pleased when I saw them on Sunday, about three or four of them have taken a career path in chemistry. So this is all we can want as a teacher, that somehow some act you did or something you did, and students remember you fondly. I also know that some students but say, Miss, you've been too harsh, and I don't smile, all right? And, and that gave me a certain type of personality. As Mrs. Atwell said, they said I was too strict. But this was a different kettle of fish when I came to Naprima College, because I felt I was stepping on stones compared to the students at the senior come, because they had a certain persona of them, and you had to think Christ, what do I tell these students? Because they could complain, you know, and they did complain about me, apparently, all right? And then I kind of let go of my guard. I started to um, treat them differently, all right? So I'm coming to the end of my speech. Don't worry, I'm here. I'm just checking my notes to see what else I have to add. And as I said, if I do um, forget anyone and, um, in terms of thanking everyone for the memorable experience, the science department under Mr. Jamwant, Mr. Kamal, Mr. Dev Gosain, he has taught us certain ways. You know, I, I think I do apologize for nothing, getting, never getting in touch with the technology. The online teaching, you know, made me do it in my own way, but I think this year's results showed me by that my own way worked. So I was not too much in the technology, but whatever I did, the students got excellent results this year after one year of online teaching. So I, I will pat myself on the back for that simply because it was an extreme challenge for me. I would call up Miss Mohani to help me, Miss, how to do this, how to do that, Miss Hamer as well. And I was really, you know, glad to see it paid off in terms of the students' results. I'm very, very happy for that. All right, so I did get emotional. I wasn't thinking I will. There's one person who's sitting very, very quietly next to Mr. Anlal, Mr. Wilkinson Sitahal. If I don't mention him, it will be remiss of me. He has made the last six years of our life in the chemistry lab worthwhile. He's an expert chemist, a past teacher of Presentation College. But he would be there to mix all the chemicals to a tea. Usually when we did labs, and my brother can attest for that, sometimes the lab would not work. We would get titration results after two readings. One Mr. Sitahal joined with his expert knowledge. He was able to ensure we had work in labs. One of my famous lines, and my son can attest to that as well, imagine this, what you're seeing here. It's really yellow, but you're not seeing anything. We had to use our imagination in the chemistry lab. They had to imagine the results. They went through the motions, but never got the results. And thanks to Mr. Wilkinson, he has been able to help me through that phase and make the chemistry even more enjoyable. So in closing, I would like to thank everyone uh, and again, you know, again, it's slipping me, Miss Nan Lali, you are in, the ICC club is in good hands. She has been a very steady friend of mine here, Miss Bachan as well, all right? The entire staff at Naprima College, I, I try to ensure that, uh, you know, you, you separate your professional life from your personal life or your personal likes and dislikes, and to treat everyone with respect, because I truly believe and that very sacred greeting we do as Hindus when we say namaste, I bow to the divine in you. You are divine, I am divine. And if we respect that, and we see that in our students, then we are on our way to uplifting them. And so with the staff of Naprima College, I bid adieu. I really will miss you all, but like Mr. Jamon said, you know, when you retire, you leave this here, you live with your memories. This time of program, it's all recorded. So when I'm ready, I'm going to look at this and cry and remember the good times with all of you. The school is in good hands with Mr. Roger Ali, Mr. Paradesi, and all the members of the science department under Ms. Hamer, Ms. Vidya, Ms. Mo uh, Omohani. Again, I call her so much because she's been like my daughter 20 years ago and she's here now, all right? And all I want to say at this point, thank you all so much.
and goodbye, Naparima College. Greetings to one and all again. And as we close today, Ms. Trahan, I want to wish you, from myself and my family, God's choicest blessings to you, your husband, your two beautiful children, and your wonderful addition. She's lovely, your daughter-in-law. And today, I will start off my vote of thanks, thanking all of you, uh, Dr. Pramanan Miraj, uh, Shivanan Miraj and Ramjit Miraj, together with your son, your daughter, and your daughter-in-law for being here with us today. Uh, just a few people who uh, really did work hard towards getting this function realized today. And um, I'll thank the sponsors first and then the manpower after. So Domeline Video Productions, OTSL, uh, who co-sponsored the videography. Um, we had Joanne's Flower Shop in Gasparillo, and of course our NAPS um, uh, Parent Association for having sponsored the refreshments and, and all the incidentals. My TASA boys, thank you so much. Amar, Akash, Ajnish, Emil, and Emil's little brother, thank you so much. Um, Mrs. Atwal, thank you so much for being here with us today. Uh, Dr. Daulat, thank you again for your remarks. And to our stakeholders, um, I know Mr. Tambi wanted to be here today, but circumstances did not allow. So we just wanted to say thank you to Mr. Tambi, Mr. Hussein, Mr. Simmons, uh, who all stood and made today's function a success. To our decorating committee, um, and what you see before you here would have been done in conjunction with our Diwali program committee. So for Mrs. Basdeo, um, Mrs. Sukdeo, uh, Ms., Mrs. Harugobin, uh, Pandit uh, Surindra, and, and the entire well-wishing crew that came together to do this today. Um, we also had uh, Ali Mohammed and Renee Suku um, assisting. And uh, for the organizing committee, I'd like to thank our administration, uh, Mr. Roger Ali, Mr. Rodney Pardesi, and uh, the coordinator of today's event, which is Ms. Hema Jagannath. Hema really went above and beyond in getting everything organized for today. Our Masters of Master of Ceremony, Mr. Ali Mohammed, wonderful job, sir. And uh, a special thank you to the rest of the committee, Ms. Vidya Sudama, Ms. Vidya and uh, Kerry Manohar, Mrs. Vidya and Mr. Kerry Manohar, um, Videsh Kunjbihari, Narendra Nanlal, Mohani Mongru, Kadir, Kelsey, and Kristen. Uh, special thank you to all of you and to our ground staff and office staff. Today's event would not have been a success without you. And thank you very much to our online viewers who will be seeing this function um, shortly. Uh, a thank you to all of you. May all of you have a wonderful day. Return safely to your homes. Thank you very much.